340's Megan Scarano joins us live from there now. And Megan, how are people who shop there frequently dealing with this? Brenda, I've talked to several people here in the parking lot about this incident tonight. Many of them tell me it has them feeling uneasy about doing something as simple as bringing your child along with you to the grocery store. It just sickens me, really. Mackenzie Smith is a mother of two young children. She shops at the Walmart where Richardson worked before he was arrested for production of child pornography, possession of child pornography, and aggravated criminal surveillance. Coleman police say the charges stem from an incident at the store on February 4th. Smith tells me she remembers seeing Richardson at the store while she was there with her children. I probably won't even let nobody talk to my kids. I mean, I already have the mama instinct of not letting them run off, having them close next to me, but now I can't even let a worker come up and speak to them. That just irritates me. Since it's early in the investigation, Adam Clark with Coleman Police couldn't tell us where inside of the store the incident took place. He can say it did happen while officers were already at the store for a theft on the 4th. Someone approached them about Richardson and a recording device. There is no other recording device. There's not a, a device that's been installed anywhere in the store. This is a, a device that belonged to this subject. We reached out to Walmart about the charges against Richardson and security measures surrounding bathrooms and other private areas of the store. I received this statement saying, we do not discuss the details of personnel matters, but we can confirm that this person is not currently working in our store. For shoppers, this serves as a reminder to never let your guard down, even in your hometown grocery store. You think you're safe in this uh, Walmart or wherever you're shopping and it turns out you're not, so it's it's a shock and an eye opener. I, I just think I'll just stick with Publix in grocery delivery. Now, the Coleman police weren't able to release a lot of details surrounding the incident because it is still under investigation. But at this time, they believe that there was just one victim, but they're urging anyone else who believes that they may be a victim and did not report it to come forward. Live in Coleman, I'm Megan Scrano, ABC 3340 News.